Hello. In this video, we are going to prove that the Hartree product gives the correct wave function for two non-interacting electrons, if electrons did not interact. For two electrons, the Hartree product wave function would be a function of this form where we have psi 1 of 1. So this is a wave function that's involved entirely with the first electron times wave function number 2, which is a function of the second electron. Similarly, if we assume that these are non-interacting, it means that we can rewrite the Hamiltonian as the sum of two operators. The first one, H1, which acts only on Psi1, and the second operator, H2, which acts only on Psi2. Now, it turns out that operator 1 acts on wave function number 1 to give wave function number 1 back, Psi1, times an energy, E1, where E1 is the energy of the first electron in the psi 1 state. Similarly, we see that psi 2 of 2 is an eigenfunction of the operator H2 with eigenvalue E2. And this is merely the definition of an eigenfunction. So now we want to have the overall operator, the Hamiltonian, act upon our function. So what we do now is we replace our Hamiltonian by the sum, which is H1 plus H2, acting on our wave function, which is merely this product, psi 1 of 1 times psi 2 of 2. Next, we have this sum of operators act on our Hartree product. And since the products, uh, the operators are linear, we can write them this way. So that's the first operator acting on the product, plus the second operator, H2, acting on the product. Next, we want to simplify these two expressions. We notice in the first expression that we have the operator H1, which is a, of which psi1 is an eigenfunction, but psi2 is not. So we can treat psi2 as a constant and pull it in front of the operator. So we can rewrite this product. The first term by putting psi 2 of 2 in front as a constant and still have the operator h1 act on psi 1. And the same reasoning applies for the second term. Here, psi 1 isn't an eigenfunction of the operator, so we can simply pull this function in front of the operator. So we have that psi 1 of 1 times operator h2 of psi 2 of 2. Next, we can use the fact that we know that, for example, psi 1 is an eigenfunction of h1. So, psi 2 of 2 stays the same in front, but now we know that when the operator acts on psi 1, what we get is e1 times psi 1. And in the process, we've eliminated the operator. So, the operator acting on psi 1 gives E1 the eigenvalue times psi1. And we can use the same reasoning for the second term because we know that psi2 is an eigenfunction of H2. So we can replace that by E2, a number, times psi2. And now we have an expression that doesn't include any operators. It merely includes functions and numbers, which we know very well how to work with. So. 
what do we get next? Well, I can simply two functions multiplying each other, they commute, and the number commutes. So I can rewrite these in any order that I like. And the order that I like in this case is going to be e1 times psi1 of 1 times psi2 of 2. And I can apply the same reasoning to the second term. I have two functions and a number, all of which commute. So I can move the e2 to the beginning. And then I have psi1 of 1 times psi2 of 2. So what does this tell us? Well, I noticed that I have a common factor of psi1, psi2 in each of the terms. So I can factor that out using kind of the reverse distributive law. So that gives me e1 plus e2 times psi1 of 1 times psi2 of 2. So what is it I found? I found that the operator acts on the Hartree product wave function, a separate a function written to be separable, and if there's no interaction between the two electrons, then I end up getting uh, that psi1 times psi2 is an eigenfunction of the Hamiltonian with eigenvalue E1 plus E2. So our E1 is the energy due to the electron number one in the first orbital, and E2 is the energy of the second electron in the second orbital. So we notice this feature when we can write a separable wave function that the eigenvalues, the energies, are simply going to be the energies of each individual component added together. So we notice with the wave function, the Hartree product, we mold together, multiply together eigenfunctions. And then when we compute the energies, we add together the eigenvalues. I thank you very much for your attention. Have a good one.